Hi crafty friends! Welcome back to my channel, Cards by Melissa Miner. Today I'm sharing this adorable stamp set from the Stamps of Life called Happy Santa to Stamp. I'm in their Die Hard Club, which includes this 4x6 stamp set for September, along with the matching dies. There's always a brand new never released before stamp set and matching dies shipped out on the first of every month in this club. Die Hard members also receive 15% off all orders on the Stamps of Life website. If you're interested in joining the Die Hard Club, I have a link in the description box below. You can receive 500 bonus club points if you sign up using my link. You can use these points to shop on their website. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this Stamp and Die Hard set to create some cards. Let's get started. The first thing I like to do when I get my stamp set in the mail is I like to go ahead and start stamping up some images and coloring, coloring them in so that I have them ready to make some cards. So let me go ahead and peel these up off of the backing sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Misty. And the ink that I'm going to use is the Alcohol Proof Ink by Spectrum Noir. This is the black. And this is so this is because it is alcohol friendly, so I can use my Spectrum Noir markers, my tri-blends. And the ink won't bleed that way. So let me just get this nice and inky and press that down. And I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure I get a good impression. And then the next thing I want to do is I like to use my mint tape. This is removable tape. And I've already taken my dies and I like to put them on a magnetic sheet so that way they're easy to remove. So I'm going to take the outline die and just line this up. And then I put a piece of this mint tape down so that way when I run it through my die, die cut machine, it doesn't move around. Let me get this one lined up. All right, let me run these through my die cut machine and I will be right back. All right, I have my images. I can just put the dies now back on my carrier sheet and I'll get those colored up and we will be ready to make a card. Okay, you can see on my desk in front of me, I have quite a few images out. Um, I've already cut some things. So this is the grid for oval uh, die set uh, from the Stamps of Life website. And what I've done is I went ahead and ran this through my die cut machine twice. I cut it out once um, using some pattern paper from my stash. This is a Stamps of Life paper pad. I went through and found out all the Christmassy papers that I liked and then I ran it through again using um, a spearmint card stock and so um, using it twice I'm going to make two cards from it. So I'm going to take the inside pieces from one and put them on this one and then I'm going to save the spearmint piece um, and use that on a separate card. So let me get this together here and then I went ahead and used this die again and cut out a centerpiece. So let me set that off to the side. I have used um, also this same layering die and cut a piece of the strawberry cardstock. And then I have a piece of the powdered sugar and a standard A2 size card. So let's see what we can make here for a card. Um, so this piece, this layering piece is five and a fourth by four. And then I've got this piece here. And what I want to do is I want to put these inside pieces from this other 
spearmint piece that I cut and I would like to layer them up like this and then I'd like to add the center like that and then add my Santa and then some presents something like this and then use bring in one of the sentiments um, from the stamp set so we just need to pick a sentiment so let me grab that and I think I want to let's see which one fits here I like may your Christmas be wrapped in love and sprinkled with joy uh, I think that fills up a lot of the space here I also like wishing you a magical and Merry Christmas that would fit nicely um, but I think I want to do May Your Christmas Be Wrapped in Love and Sprinkled with Joy. So let me grab that out and let me place that on a block. And I am going to go ahead and bring in my secret weapon. Anytime I do any, oops, let me grab that. Anytime I do any stamping, I like to use my secret weapon. And that's just so that I can get a nice impression. And when I stamp this, I'd like to stamp it more along the side, not necessarily centered. Uh, I do have my tweezers here. Uh, sometimes with fingernails, it just helps to have my tweezers. And I think I want to go ahead and stamp that in the strawberry ink. So I've got my inks off to the side here. And I've got my little strawberry ink. I think I should probably practice on some scratch paper just to make sure it's stamping well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get this inked up. And we'll see how it's stamping. That's pretty good. Uh, let me do it again. It's not quite as inky as I would like it, but I haven't used this stamp yet, so let's try it again. Give it a good press. Sometimes if you hold it down just for another moment, it lets the ink soak in. And I think that's much better. So I think I'm ready to start stamping now. So I'm going to get it nice and inked up. And let's go ahead and line this up. I'm going to hold it down. May your Christmas be wrapped in love and sprinkled with joy. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm ready to start assembling this card. Let me move move all my pieces to the side and I'm going to get out my Barely Art glue. I like this because it has a nice precise tip. And I'm going to line this up in the center here. It does dry clear so if any seeps out the sides and then I'm going to glue my little center pieces in get those lined up Let's see, that's this one. Okay, and then I'm going to glue down my center. And then I 
let's go ahead and put our Santa on here. And I think I do want to put a little bit of adhesive foam on Santa to pop him up. So I'm going to grab a little bit of foam. Put a little bit of foam on the back of Santa. And then we'll glue our presents down. Okay. And then we've got one more present. This card came together so quickly. And then we'll just glue this on a base. Okay. And there you have, that's card number one. Perfect. All right, so now let's start card number two. So for card number two, I'm using the inner pieces to the card that I just made, and we're going to do it just a little bit differently. So the first one we did in landscape, this one we're going to do in portrait. So again, I have um, a piece of strawberry. Now this piece of strawberry, I cut to the whole width. Um, in the first one, I had the border. For this one, I'm gonna do a four and a fourth by five and a half. And then I'm going to use that spearmint piece. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue on the spearmint piece now that glue down and then we'll glue in those inner pieces that was left over from card number one so this is kind of like a two for one I think I need a different glue I have a refill here let me try this one see if this one works better much better okay Line that up. And then I've got the striped spearmint pieces. Now these paper packs were from previous Stamps of Life card kits that I have. I do not have this September card kit yet, but I did not want to wait. I wanted to start playing with my Stamp and Die Hard Club. I wanted to start creating. Okay, see this is a totally different look. And then for this one I want to use the tree and the Santa. And then I have went ahead and cut out a snowflake. And this snowflake I had from this die set, which I believe I have October of 2020 Kit Club written on it, the Mary in Peace. So that's what I had written in my stash. So I believe that is where that snowflake is from. It's what I had it packaged in. So I believe that's where it was from. And then I have stamped out the word Merry Christmas using the strawberry ink. I've matted it on the powdered sugar and then again on some um, strawberry cardstock. And that Merry Christmas I used from this stamp set. 
and this is from the snow globe to stamp that is Merry Christmas now there is a Merry Christmas that is on um, the stamp this month and so I definitely could have used this one um, this one is just a little bit smaller and it's a different font it's all in capital letters the other one I used the one this month is um, capital and lowercase so there is a difference in them um, I just wanted to use a little bit something different and bring in another stamp set from my stash um, so I did bring that in um, so I want to put this snowflake kind of back here and I want to have the Santa in front of the tree and then this Merry Christmas kind of off to the right like that. So let me get some of these pieces glued down. And then again, for this one, I do want to use some adhesive foam and have that Santa with some foam. So let me get that Santa popped up. And all the coloring I did off camera with my Spectrum Noir. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And then now we just need to decide. I do think I like the Merry Christmas over here on the right hand side. So let me get that glued down. And I do want it all the way showing just a little bit of that border showing and now we just need to glue it on a powdered sugar card base so let me get this glued down And there, there you have it. There is card number two. Very cute. All right, so let's work on card number three. All right, for card number three, I am going to be bringing in the A2 gift card pop up die set along with the eyelet scallop circle die set. And so if you've never used this gift card pop-up die set, it is one of my favorites. So let me show you how this works. So with this die set right here, you're going to cut out two of these pieces and we're going to glue these together. So you're going to take this die and you're going to run it through your die cut machine twice. And you want to cut two of these. So I've cut two of these in the strawberry card stock. You can see I have two of those. And then you're going to take this layering die right here. And this is going to be your layering piece for the front of the card. And so you're going to, whatever pattern paper you want to use, that's going to be the front of your card. And then you can also take this and cut a piece for the inside. So I've used a piece of powdered sugar to cut the inside. Then you're going to take this die, this little bitty die right here, and I've cut two of these with the spearmint card stock, and these are going to be layering dies for our gift card. So you're going to want to cut two of those. And then I've also used one of the scalloped dies and cut out a piece of the strawberry card stock. So let me put these away and then I will show you how to assemble this gift card pop-up. So to assemble the gift card pop-up, you are going to fold these in. So you're going to want to score these lines. And then you're going to glue them together, but a gift card needs to fit down in here. So 
you do not want to put glue all the way down. So sometimes I think it's best to actually put um, a gift card in there so that you accidentally don't put glue in places that you don't want to put glue. So let me go ahead and I have a business card. I'm gonna stick a business card in there so I know where to put the glue. You can use a business card, a credit card. So I have a business card and I'm just gonna stick that, hold that in there just to see where I'm gonna put the glue. And you can put it at the very, very bottom and then just on the very edges. So I'm gonna go very edges and like tiny, tiny bit along the bottom. And then I'm just gonna line these up I'm gonna put my gift card back in here. Put my gift card in there, because I don't want that to... Don't want that to glue together. So I'm just gonna hold that down. Give it a good press. Okay, so you can see that that's, that's glued down. So now I can start decorating it. So then these two pieces are gonna be your decorative pieces. So they are just gonna get layered on top of here. So we're gonna put glue on these pieces. And since this is a Christmas card, I thought it's perfect for a gift card. I love giving these at Christmas time as gift card holders. I like also giving them um, as birthday cards. I use this die set for birthday cards. I've given it to um, coaches. Uh, I've give, used it a lot for coaches for like kids sports um, with gift cards. So you can see that looks really nice. Okay, so my layering piece is gonna go in here I am going to decorate that piece and so I don't want to put that in there yet, but that's where that's going to go. And now I'm ready to start decorating the front of my card. Alright, so for the front of the card, this panel is going to layer just like that on the front. So I am going to take a little strip, let's see, I've cut this to a half. And I haven't, um, I haven't cut this down. I'm just gonna glue this on here. And I also, this is on some patterned paper that I found from the Christmas stash that I had of the Stamps of Life pattern paper. And I'm gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll just snip the ends off. So let me go ahead and get that done. And I'll just snip off the end. That looks nice. And then I'm going to glue the circle on, the scallop circle. So we'll get that centered. And then for this one, I'm going to use my Santa and my tree, but for this one, I kind of want to hide the bag just to give it a little different look. So I want my Santa peeking out from behind the tree, and I found that if you just kind of poke him back behind the tree like that, you don't even see the bag of toys. I think that looks so cute like that. So I'm going to go ahead and Glue the Santa down first. And now I'm going to glue the tree on and just line him up, position 
position him and I can even put this little top of his hat kind of in front of the tree and this fits perfectly around there. Okay, now my tree's straight. And there we go. And so I can go ahead and glue this panel on. I'm gonna put a little more glue behind the tree. I just just because I moved that a little bit. And we don't want our pieces coming off in the mail. Put a little bit more here. And now we're ready to glue this front panel onto our gift card. And we can go ahead and glue the inside panel down. Now there is an add-on set that the Stamps of Life sells with a very nice Christmas sentiment. And I've ordered it, it just hasn't came yet. So I'm not gonna stamp the sentiment. I am gonna wait to stamp the sentiment that is on the website. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the screen so you can see what sentiment I'm talking about right after this card. And maybe you can agree that it'll be perfect for this. So it's ready for my gift card. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the business card in there for now. So you'll have to let me know in the description box below which card was your favorite today? Did you like card one, card two, or card three? If you've liked this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any of my crafting videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.